right guys what's going on so this is part two on how to make your own swim bait I'm gonna show you guys now that you have your your molds already made I got quite a few different ones and some bigger ones but uh, now that you got that all done I'm gonna show you how you pour your soft plastic how you heat it up um, I use a measuring cup Just any old glass measuring cup will work um, and the folks over at Bait Plastics, they went ahead and sent us some of the, some of the plastic salts we can use for our swim baits. So we'll be using this stuff today. Um, we're pouring it in, in the measuring cup. And then uh, once it's all done, we can add some colors and set us some glitter. Kind of resemble the swim baits I like. And some dye. Yeah, it's like a sky blue color right here. You guys can get all this stuff from baitplastics.com. Really cool people really quick shipping. Um, so let's get to it. I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to start adding the plastic sole, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, we'll get you guys making your own swim bait soon. All right. All right. So here we go. So what we got here is a salt water a formula of plastic sole from Bay Plastics. Okay. There's a 312, which is a, a salt water hard formula and a super hard, super tough, which is a 362. Um, being that we fish these swim baits for stripers and whatnot, we need a little tougher. I've used other other plastic soles, and um, they're not strong enough. They're, they're okay, but the action's not that good. So let's open this thing up. They tape them up so they don't leak because the stuff gets everywhere. Um, the other thing too is I noticed that the bottle says I talked to the owner. Or the phone, and he said to mix it, not to shake it. You get something in there, kind of, kind of stir it around. You get all the, the sediment and all the everything out of it. Get it mixed properly. So we stole a chopstick from some someone here. So I'm gonna try to mix this up. You can fill all the stuff at the bottom. Mix as well. We get all the stuff off the bottom. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna pour some of this plastic in here. I'm gonna do like a two-part swim bait. So the first half is gonna be gonna be clear. So I'm just going to pour a little bit just to kind of give you guys an idea. Okay. So now you see that in there. That's what it looks like, you know, just before, okay? Um, you are going to need some kind of a heat gun that just measures the temperature, whatever you're heating up. You can see. It'll tell you, it'll give you a reading. Uh, and I do recommend you using one of these respirator masks. I got mine, you know, at a local harbor store. Just you don't want to really be breathing in this stuff, you know. Pretty nasty. So, bring it over here. You know, we're going to bring this over. And you see I have a microwave here. Separate microwave from what I use for cooking. Put that thing in there. Okay, I'm only going to heat it up for about a minute or so. Okay. All right, so while that's cooking in the microwave, so the temperature we're looking at for the soft plastic, um, depending on your microwave, your conditions, where you're at, the weather, um, I usually go 350, 355, somewhere around there. So that's what we're looking for. So we'll see, you know, once that comes out of the microwave to the right temperature, we'll start pouring it up. All right. So, being that I'm gonna record this video, I don't wanna 
mess up the sound, so our plastic is done heating up. I'm gonna bring this out. Careful, it could be hot, so. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the heat gun. I'm gonna check the temperature. Put it right on it. This is 323. So I'm looking for a temperature. I'd say about, about 340, okay? So we'll give it a little bit longer. Put it back in. I'm not gonna do the whole 30 seconds because it's really close to, to the temperature I want. So we're just gonna do a little bit here. Just enough. I'd say probably half of that, depending on your microwave. Some of these microwaves are a little stronger than others. So we'll get that out. See that still not right temperature. So put it back in for See if we're close now. I'm looking for like 345. Somewhere in that area. Alright, that looks a little better. You see the consistency? It's clear now. So we'll see. Let's hit up the gun one more time. Alright, so what we're gonna do is now that we have the right temperature. I'm going to get the same mold. I'm going to pour the bottom half of my swim bait that I'm making. It's all about how you pour this. Just nice, steady hands. There you see. right for half the swim bait okay I'm gonna let that do its thing now I'm gonna add add my glitter okay I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to this okay Add a little bit of this, uh, this blue dye, a couple of drops. All right, I get my little mixing stick here, aka my fancy chopstick. Now you see a mad night color in there. Okay. Still warm enough, so I'm gonna add the second layer. I'm gonna add it all the way to the top. It will shrink some, so I tend to add a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna let that cool off for a few minutes. And then I will pull it out of the mold.
Let's see how it, how it comes out. So, we'll be back in a few minutes here. Check it out. All right, so now that it's been sitting five, 10 minutes or so, we're gonna pull this out of the mold, okay? I think it's ready to go. So I'm just simply gonna just start trying to separate it from the mold, you know? And just grab an end of it, pull that right out. Check it out. You got a swim bait. Like I said, I'm it's not perfect. I'm still new to making swim baits, but hey, I'm not selling these. These are just gonna get eaten up by, by stripers and whatnot. Check that out. Nice little action swim bait. Ready to go. When I do have these edges like this on the, on the ends like that, I just get these little scissors here. I start trimming all that little stuff away. Just like that. Okay. Simple as that. I'm not professional yet at horn, but hey, these fish don't care. You know, just a little trim. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. You got your own swim bait now. Now you get the idea. You guys can make your own. I showed you how to make a mold, how to pour the plastic. Um, I did end up heating this plastic a little more than what it said. Um, so I went up to 350, 360 on the first, on the first, uh, the first layer. Added my color and um, heated it up again. The second one was 370 almost, a little higher than I normally go, but um, every microwave is a little different, I guess. But uh, well, there you go. And there goes a swim bait. Order your stuff from the guys at baitplastics.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again soon in a future video. Hopefully that helps. Um, got some striper candy here. Check that out. Striper halibut. It'll be all over this stuff. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Got more videos coming. We got a, got a striper and some sturgeon videos coming up pretty soon so we'll put that up later this week and then we'll be hitting the surf again some surf perch some stripers and uh once the springtime comes around some halibut some rockfish some ling cod all good stuff maybe maybe even some white sea bass all right so we're out of here if you guys enjoyed it make sure you hit up the guys over at baitplastics.com they got our, everything you need you know your, your saltwater formulas your 362 your 312 tough and then the super tough so make sure you hit them up all right i'm out of here peace